Hello all my HTML peeps, we're back with another research update video for you guys and in this video I actually have two updates um, and these are from sources that I received um, over this time period and uh, they'll cover some um, some of the recent uh, data coming out of uh, China and uh, and so it's going to be a quick update video, um, it's going to be right to the point, not very much. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the first update. Okay, for the first update, um, it's actually based on a source that I received, um, uh, and it's actually an article that uh, is going to be published in the European Respiratory Journal, um, and is yet to be fully um, publicized. Uh, it could be by now. Um, I'm not sure about that, uh, but it is uh, it is an article that is actually done by Dr. Joan uh, and his team um, um, out of China. And so in this article uh, in particular, the actual name of this uh, article is uh, Strategies for the Prevention and Management of Coronavirus Disease 2019. Um, and in this, uh, in this article, um, it actually states, uh, I'll actually quote one uh, quote, uh, what Dr. Joan actually says in regarding hydrogen therapy or hydrogen inhalation. Um, in its form of oxyhydrogen, 66% H2, 33% O2. In light of the significantly decreased airway resistance and safety, inhalation of hydrogen and oxygen mixed gas, which is generated through water electrolysis, has been applied in clinical practice. Hydrogen slash oxygen mixed gas inhalation resulted in a major amelioration of dyspnea in most patients with COVID-19 in a pilot investigation and has therefore been endorsed by the latest recommendation for the diagnosis and management of COVID-19 document. That's a pretty impressive uh, quote. And to clarify, dyspnea, uh, by definition, is difficulty or labor in breathing. And so um, this quote stating that it was able to cause major amelioration of dyspnea uh, uh, is... Uh, quite remarkable um, and it only corroborates some of the stuff we've already been seeing with hydrogen and some of the literature and so with that being said we can move on to our update number two this update is actually going to be in reference to um, access to a letter that I was able uh, uh, to receive and uh, in this uh, particular letter uh, the CEO of um, of the particular hydrogen in, in the particular hydrogen inhalation systems that are actually being used um, in these hospitals in China um, actually uh, is writing um, to another uh, researcher or doctor. Uh, and uh, in this particular letter, it actually mentions some details about um, some of the things that are being seen with hydrogen inhalation or oxyhydrogen inhalation. Um, and I'll go ahead and quote it for you. Because uh, I, I believe it's um, uh, it's insightful. And so uh, the quote actually states, with more than 1,500 patients using the product, results show that it can improve the symptoms of chest pain, dyspnea, shortness of breath, cough, sputum, and violent pneumonia in patients. In addition, it can reduce the risk of severe illnesses, short, shorten the length of hospital stay, and help patients to improve pulmonary fibrosis. And that's like I said, just like the quote said, based on 1,500 uh, patients. Um, now this product is, is being um, used within a trial with 270 patients. Uh, and uh, this particular source goes on to state uh, that the results of that particular uh, uh, trial will, will be published at the end of April. It should be noted that the hydrogen inhalation system or the oxyhydrogen system um, that is being utilized or has been quoted about um, uh, in this particular source uh, is a class three medical device and uh, it has been certified and registered by the Chinese food or the China Food and Drug Administration. Uh, and so they've taken all the proper steps to ensure uh, its safety. Um, and I know they put in a whole lot of work for that. So uh, these are the two updates that we do have. Um, it just seems like uh, as things continue to progress, the hydrogen inhalation um, as a as a as an actual certified treatment um, or a potential treatment um, 
uh, is looking even more promising uh, for those who have contracted the virus. Uh, and we'll be here to give you more updates uh, as we receive them. Um, but as for right now, this is what we have. Uh, and just like I said in the last update, these are promising uh, sources. Uh, and this article will be um, linked in the description uh, as well. Uh, and we will catch you uh, next time. Deuces.